on 4th Street. UTV, baby, you know how we do. What's up, world? I'm King James, and you are now tuned in to UTV. Tonight, we are here at Gallery 530 in Santa Rosa as Kaleidoscope presents Heartbreakers 2. Just like UTV, Gallery 530 gives upcoming artists a chance to showcase their talent, and we're giving you, the viewer, an exclusive look. We're taking you into the underground world of art that you can only see right here on UTV. We have exclusive interviews and some of the hottest, freshest art you're gonna see. It's gonna be a great show. You don't wanna miss out. This is what I want you to do. Kick back, turn off the iPhone, turn up the TV, and most of all, enjoy the show. Earlier today, UTV got to sit down with some of the sponsors from tonight's event to talk about their community involvement by putting on these local art shows and benefit. Check it out. Hello, Sonoma County. This is Rafa Fuji. I'm one of the partners at Gallery 530. Part of the proceeds from these events go back to the community through an organization called Worth Our Weight, which is a culinary school for the youth. You're watching Heartbreakers 2. Get ready to enjoy some local art by some talented female artists. What's up world, King James, and we are here at Gallery 530 as Kaleidoscope presents Heartbreakers 2. Yes. We are standing here with another upcoming artist, Danelle. Danelle, welcome to the show today. Welcome, thank you. Now we are standing in front of some of Danelle's work, and what is the title of this specific piece behind us? This piece is called simply Mirror Tree. It's self-explainable, really. It's a tree made out of mirrors. So nice. So how did you did you seven years of bad luck is what's coming in my how many years of bad luck is this? How many years story. am I looking at? It's a funny story, actually. Tell us about it. I had a wall mirror hanging on my wall and in the middle of the night it came crashing down I don't know what happened it literally fell off my wall so I was left with uh, all of these pieces of mirror and I thought to myself I can't let this go to waste can't so let I decided uh, to make something beautiful now we were talking earlier and you describing this piece yes. up here as a diptych? Yes, a diptych is when there are two images that come together to create one picture. So you need both of the canvases in order to see the whole butterfly. If there was only one canvas, you wouldn't be able to tell. So diptych. A That's diptych. definitely learned something new myself. Hopefully our viewers out there are taking notes. And with this specific diptych piece, yes. now is it sold separately or is it sold as a whole? Um, I would like to sell it as a single unit, even though there's two canvases. A single unit. Yeah, so two of them together would be sold. I would sell them together. Okay. Yes, because it's it forms one picture, and I don't want it to have its missing other part. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. So where do you see your artwork taking you here in the near future? Oh. Man, I don't even know. I'm hoping to learn more. I'm taking a couple of art classes, and nice. Uh, nice. I'm just, it takes me where it wants to go. I really don't choose. I don't choose at all. I, one day I'll wake up and I'll have inspiration for this entirely different thing that I've never done before. And, you know, I just kind of roll with the punches and go with it. Now, for our viewers that are watching at home, that are maybe be their artists themselves, yes. and uh, do you have any advice for any upcoming artist like yourself that's watching out there? You know, all I would say is just, just go for it, just do it, because if you put your intentions out there that you want your art to be shown and you want people to see it, it will happen, and you will make it for yourself, and opportunities will be presented that you never thought would arise. So. Definitely. 
definitely. Now, how? Speaking of opportunities, yes. when Kaleidoscope gave you a call and said they would like your work displayed here this evening, yes. How what? How did that feel? As being an upcoming artist to have that type of opportunity? It was it was amazing actually because I I was part of their show a couple of months ago and you know, I just thought it would be a one time thing and I was grateful for that one time. And we're back. I know, and we're back, and it's just. It feels so amazing to know that people want to see my art and to know absolutely, that absolutely. I get another opportunity for people to see my art and that they want me here and it's just, it feels so good. Tell our viewers out there, they want to see more of your art, tell them where they can find some. Do you have an email or a contact for them? Yeah, you can um, find me on Facebook, <laughs> just like everywhere else. Um, I have a page, it's Danelle D Rock Naraki. Um, people call me D Rock. D so, yeah. um, or email me at Danelle Naraki6 at gmail.com. And yeah, if you like it, there's more to come. So Definitely. We will definitely, this is one artist to look out for in the near future. I'm standing here with another upcoming artist, Maria. Maria, welcome to the show today. Thank you very much. Now we are standing in front of a couple of your pieces here. Um, tell us, which one of these is your favorite? Is there a specific? Well, I probably like this one because this is, uh, I was born in this village. Really? In Croatia, so Croatia. I kind of into it, yeah. Oh. Oh, I've always wanted to visit. I, I tell everybody that Croatia is definitely... All of these pictures are taken in different countries. Different countries. So is that some of the inspiration behind your artwork? Uh, yes, I love to travel. I've traveled my whole life. Most of these were all done. I took the original film picture in the 70s. Really? And then about um, six years ago, I changed them into the emulsion transfer, which is what these are. See how they're wiggly and stuff? Nice. You actually remove the picture off the Polaroid and put it on another surface, and then you can manipulate the surface. That's a nice tip for some of our viewers that are out there watching. Um, do you have any advice for any upcoming artists like yourself that want to get their work out there? And do you have any yeah, encouragement for Yeah, just do it. I mean, that's the main thing is you have an idea, and you kind of think, oh, I want to do it. And the best thing to do is to just just do it, whatever it is. If you have a passion for something, if you, if you want to paint, paint. If you want to take photographs, take photographs. And then just go for it. That's really the best thing to do. So you said that some of these photos date as far back as the 70s. Partially, because in the 70s is the original picture. And then about five years ago, they were changed into these. And then and then they're printed on something called, they're called uh, Jaclays, which is a fine art uh, iris technology process of printing. There we so. go. Viewers, I hope you're taking some notes out there. One last question. How, so how long have you been an artist then? You've been doing this for a while. Oh, yeah. My, well, since I was in high school, I started taking these in high school. I always have a camera with me. And then I probably wouldn't have done the show, but my son Roman, he said, come on, Mom, you know, we were doing a show with just women, and why don't you put your art up? So he talked me into it, and I'm really glad he did. Definitely. It's really fun. I know this is a great opportunity for upcoming artists. This is and great. This whole have, Kaleidoscope yeah. show and, and Heartbreakers local, too. And it gives people an opportunity to show their work and we always get good people coming in. You know, a lot of people like this. I think it really fills a void in the community and it brings yes. art to the community. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Now for our viewers that are watching at home and they want to see more of your art, tell them where they can find that. They can catch me on my email. And what is that for some it's, viewers? Uh, it's my name, Maria Dargenzio, at gmail.com. There you have it. Maria, thank you. And we definitely will look forward to seeing more of your work at these shows here at Gallery 530, right here in Santa Rosa. Tonight we are at Kaleidoscope Presents Heartbreakers 2. Once again, Maria, thank you for thank coming you. on the show. And go do your passion. That's right. Earlier today, UTV got to sit down with Roman D.R. Genzio to talk about provoked thinking in Gallery 530. Here it is. Check it out. What's up?
up, world? This is Cece, and I'm standing here with Roman D'Argencio, and he was one of the great sponsors for Heartbreakers 2. Roman, can you please share with us what that art gallery was all about? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a twice a month art show that we had, and it was uh, sponsored by a foundation called Worth Our Weight, and we would donate a portion of the proceeds to that, and we would get about uh, 15 artists in every time, and we just had DJs and music, and it was a good thing for like the younger kids in the community that were adults, you know, to do their own thing. And That's beautiful. I yeah. love that you're supporting local artists, giving them a chance to go ahead and showcase their talents. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Now, I also hear that you're kind of an artist yourself. Can you please tell us about your clothing line? Yeah, um, Provoke Thinking is a clothing line of mine, and it, we would like sponsor the events and have uh, booths there and give away free stuff and just like get the name out there and try to like merge the two things together and make it one big event for the community. Great, support one another. I love that. Yeah, so exactly. can you please let us know, do you guys have any more upcoming events coming up that we can be looking forward to? We have a thing going on every Wednesday after the Wednesday night market at Christie's. Christie's on the square and it has uh, local artists and DJs and there's live art and there's no cover and or dress code so okay, and it's pretty is cool. Okay, an age? Is there an age Yes, yeah, it's, it's all for 21 and older but you know if you're a young artist uh, and you want to get out there and meet people and network and maybe get yourself in the show, come check it out. Alright, well thank you Roman very much for thank not you. only um, putting yourself out there and letting us know everything about that but I'll definitely be coming to Christie's because I love going there and I love the no dress code so sure. thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks, everybody.